Hello everyone, Tim Gabar, superintendent from the Mount Pleasant Area School District. And joining us here for this segment is Mr. Lance Bentler, who, uh, familiar face, been around the district since I believe 2004. Yes. Uh, and has worked as an administrator and uh, I know this is, what, the 15th year for, for Ramsey? I just finished correct? it, starting just, the 16th year at Ramsey. Just finished the 15th year, so uh, we're excited to have Lance here. Uh, for those that don't know Mr. Bentler, this helps you put a, put a name with a face. And as we talked about, uh, we talk about all the schools, there are things that happen throughout the course of the summer in preparation for the year that can be quite busy. And uh, folks really don't know what it is that takes place during the course of the year. And this helps folks know that what's happened in their building from, the, from June up until, up until now, which is August, and what they can expect coming into the, the 22 school year, 2022-23 school year. Uh, You've got several several children coming from from Norvelt or Donegal down to your building, so it's a new experience for them. So this will help them as well as we lead into the uh, welcome back nights and, and the beginning of the new year. So Lance, I, I know around the building there have been some things taking place from the the maintenance department as well as capital projects. Can you speak a little bit to what what's been happening to the physical building? You know, since, since people might have been there last. Absolutely, uh, busy summer this year at Ramsey. Uh, you have your normal cleaning, uh, sanitizing the rooms, Chromebooks, things like that. But we had a couple projects going on. Um, we did have our rear parking lot redone, so it was milled, uh, paved, and repainted. Uh, turned out very nice. Um, new lighting was put in throughout the building. Uh, it's very bright there now. Uh, we also had new cameras installed throughout the building and in, uh, in areas on the external part of the campus. And uh, finally got two basketball hoops installed in for recess. So I know the kids will be happy about that. And I know you've been asking for those for, for several years. Or the PTO helped you out with those and now you finally had a chance to put them in, correct? Correct, yeah. The PTO on uh, the reconfiguration purchased them. Um, then COVID hit, things happened, but we finally uh, were able to get those in this year. And I know you're very active with the PTO, which is which is much appreciated, and uh, they, they do a tremendous job of providing some supports and resources for the state. For Absolutely, the kids. great group of parents. Always looking for more people to help. That's right. So so on the lighting end, uh, Mr. Bentler, it, it um, I know it made it brighter in the classrooms, also in the hallways. Like, mm -hmm. uh, can you speak just a little bit to that and how you think that could be a benefit to to what is going to happen in the classrooms and, and throughout the building? Sure. Um, yeah, everything's brighter and just the halls, we, we do have darker carpet because we are a carpeted building. So just having those those new bright lights, just, you know, the hall is so much brighter now and it looks clean and I think it's just going to be nice uh, and pleasant for the kids sure. as they're changing classes and then being in the classroom as well. Yeah, awesome. Because I know that we have a lot of technology in the classrooms and there's things to do that that just helps enhance it to have uh, nice, bright, efficient lighting in the, in the classrooms as well. So yes. thank you. Oh, Mr. Benner, on, on the 25th of August, we have Welcome Back Night coming up. And I know at all the buildings, that's buzzing with a lot of activity. So when people are coming to that, and we hope that everybody out there that's viewing, or even those that aren't viewing, take the opportunity to come into the buildings on the 20th, can you speak about what they might see when they do come to Ramsey on August 25th for Welcome Back Absolutely. Night? Absolutely. Um, when you come, you'll have an opportunity to walk around the building, uh, see your child's classrooms, uh, go to your child's classrooms based off their schedule, uh, have an opportunity to talk with their teachers, uh, ask questions. Um, also, we'll have the PTO will be there with the table um, that they can answer any questions, or uh, you can even tell them you're interested in joining up uh, to assist them. Uh, DMJ will also have a table there to answer questions uh, that you may have concerns about the bus stop or what times, things like that. Uh, they will be present as well um, to help address any, any of those questions. Uh, this year we're also going to have um, people representing the high school musical there. Uh, it is open for fourth through sixth graders to participate in the high school musical. Uh, so they'll be there to try to recruit some kids for that. Um, as well as myself, my counselors, and my uh, secretary will be there uh, if you have any questions or you need assistance with, with something uh, before the start of school year, uh, we'll be there to help. Fantastic, thank you. And I, I know those are, those are tremendous evenings, a lot of people in and out, and a lot of great information, opportunity to see friends you may not have seen, seen for quite some time or make connections with teaching staff. Uh, to try to ease a little bit of the, the, if there's any anxiety for students coming to the building, you get to see the building and start to get comfortable with what's there. 
So, so Lance, I, I know we've talked at different administrative meetings and what amongst the group about things taking place in all the buildings for the 22-23 school year. And I know you have uh, several exciting initiatives that are taking place. And can you speak to everybody about what's happening and along that end? Sure, we have a lot going on at Ramsey this year that we're excited about. Um, every teacher at Ramsey is getting a new Elmo. Uh, your, your child will know what an Elmo is, you may mm -hmm. not, but it's, it's a document uh, projection tool. Um, they're wireless and our teachers are getting tango boards. So the Elmo will be able to project onto the tango board for the students um, and the tango boards are interactive. So we're really excited about that uh, with, the, with the technology there. Um, we redesigned our schedule for this year um, where we have time built in for struggling readers to get extra assistance um, to help them be able to read. Uh, we're also implementing a tiered system for remediation so if you're a struggling reader um, or even in math during our enrichment and intervention time, uh, we'll be able to target you with the needs that you have better um, using the tiered system. So that, that, that's a, gonna be a big thing for us this year to implement. Um, as I said, the, the basketball hoops are installed. We're very excited about that. Um, I did bump IE up from 30 minutes to 40 minutes for those interventions, so that, that gives everyone 10 more minutes um, to help the kids out. Uh, we do have a school-wide behavior uh, program that we run that's been very successful. Uh, the kids were gonna be given even more awards out this year and more frequently, so uh, look for that. Um, that's great, you know, it, it, when you mentioned about the basketball hoops and then mm -hmm. you went over it, uh, but it's a big deal because I know at your, your, your age level, your grades four, five, and six, that the the space that you have at Ramsey provides for a lot of opportunities. I mean, you've right. got yourself that that asphalt space, you know, where you can have the hoops and you know they played some kickball and what have mm -hmm. you. And I saw some of the outdoor days. They had the playground area with with some some equipment to play on next to the shade structure that's there. Correct. And mm -hmm. you also have that entire football field or soccer field down below, mm -hmm. which is a big grass area. So. Um, I know we laugh about the, the, the basketball hoops, but there's a reason you really wanted those and you got them, and to have two of those in place is gonna be a big deal for your, for your kids. Yeah, so Ramsey had a basketball court years ago, and then um, we, we made it a parking lot. We needed parking uh, spaces. Uh, anyone that's been there knows parking's a premium over there. So uh, we, we did portable hoops for a while, but over the time, th those broke. So uh, very excited to have permanent hoops in that, that um, Going to remain there. Yeah. <laughs> so. I'm sorry, I knew you were uh, speaking of the problem. initiatives, but I. Um, we have uh, two fifth grade businesses uh, mm -hmm. for fifth graders to, to uh, be involved in. Um, they make customized mugs, water bottles, uh, mouse pads. Um, they go out to craft shows. Uh, you can do Christmas orders through them. Uh, fifth grade loves that. Um, we do have a sixth grade news team for any sixth grader coming in that may be interested on in being part of the news team and, and doing what we're doing right now. Yeah for the school each morning. Uh, you have that opportunity as well. Um, bowling club, we started last year, very successful. Uh, we had 82 kids start, finished the year out with 59, which I thought was really good because of the spring sports. I uh, lost some kids there, but uh, we'll be in year two of that. Um, that's every other Tuesday. Look forward to information being passed out uh, in September for that. Uh, we're also looking to start an outdoors club this year. So uh, hopefully we can get that off the ground and have some outdoor uh, activities to where uh, we're meeting uh, in an evening or on a Saturday to, to go hiking or skiing and things like that. Yeah, thank you. That's, that's fantastic. It's a nice list. I know some of them have been there, but other things are, you know, continue to, to progress, and, and thank you for that. <clears throat> and, and, Mr. Ben, I hope that there are a lot of parents that are there tuning in, and uh, as you go into the school year, there may be some items that we did not speak about that, that they may be thinking about or might be concerned about. So. Any other specific items that you think the parents may need to know going into the 22-23 school year for, for Ramsey? Yes, a couple things, especially if you're new to Ramsey. Um, it's a lot of one-way streets over there, so if you are dropping your child off or picking them up at the end of the day, um, they do come in and out the front of the building. Uh, we do ask the parents to wait on the sidewalk on the Ramsey side of the street uh, for your child. Doors will open at 8.15 this year. Uh, that has not changed since last year. Um, students do need to be there by 8.35 to be considered uh, not tardy. At 8.35, they will need a tardy slip. Um, we do util utilize the Home Access Center uh, for progress reports and report cards. Um, we're we're uh, digital on that. Uh, we're kind of paperless. If you do need a paper copy, you can contact me or my secretary, and we'll be happy to make you a paper copy and send it home or mail it home. Uh, we do dismiss at 3.05. 
uh, for walkers. They go out the front, and we start bus dismissal about 310 out the side uh, by the gym. Um, my secretary is available daily, 7.30 to 4, uh, to help you with any of your needs. And uh, we also do a monthly newsletter at Ramsey uh, that gets sent to the parent email by our Blackboard system at the beginning of each month. So look forward to, to reading that. Uh, we give you a lot of uh, things that are happening at Ramsey to keep you abreast of what's going on. So. Good, thank you. And, and uh, like I said at the beginning, might be a familiar face. I know Lance uh, takes the chance to get out to, to many of the events. We see him around here, you know, whether it's whether it's the, the, the football games or, or prom or whatever events it are, I know Lance comes around and makes himself available. But for those of you that do not know Mr. Bentler, you can now place a, a face with a name and uh, uh, I think you'll find him to be a, a very comforting individual and uh, do a great job for your child when your child comes into Ramsey. So thank you to Mr. Bentler for joining us today. Thank you for having me. And, and hopefully you found this to be uh, informative and uh, we wish you a great day. Thank you. Thank you.